All right, so we're here to talk about the album Faye. Um, I think the best way to start this is obviously by talking about the subject of the album. Um, Faye is my mom's middle name. Uh, I don't really remember her ever, like, ever using it or mentioning it really, um, but I do think it's a really pretty name and I think it makes for a good album title as well. So there's that. My mom was pretty much a superhero. Uh, she raised eight kids and did so in such a loving and um, joyous and kind and gentle way. Um, you know, she made every, like everything into an event. So like every birthday, every holiday, uh, every change of the season had like something new to do. Um, so I just had a really great upbringing and I owe that primarily to my mom. Uh, and so this album is dedicated and honoring her. I don't want to get too into the nitty gritty of her journey with Alzheimer's disease. Um, everybody knows that it sucks, but I will just bring up like sort of one of the key moments for me uh, as it relates to this album. My wife and I were living in Washington State at the time. Uh, this was 2016 and my uh, I was talking on the phone with my dad and he had just kind of like flippantly mentioned that you know, my mom had referred to me as that other guy uh, in conversation, you know, because she couldn't, she couldn't place my name. Um, you know, it wasn't like a, like a breakdown moment or anything like that, but, you know, that phrase definitely resonated with me. Uh, and I knew, like, I was going to have to do some, some processing, you know, I was going to have to emotionally work through what was going on. Basically, the way that I did that was I took out my notebook and a pencil and just tried to write down like any memories that came up of, you know, of my childhood, of my mom, you know, of different characteristics of her. And just then I took that that paper and tried to, you know, sort of find whatever connections or themes that I could. And then um, you know, just decided, okay, what what do I want to make a song out of versus what do I want to make a lyric from? And so even just that first initial step was really, really therapeutic for me um, because what that did was it forced me to focus um, on these happy moments, these, you know, these good, joyous memories. And, um, you know, these are things that I'm so thankful for and so even though like remembering those things does bring about some grief and pain because you know you you mourn for that and you you long for those days but at the same time it's like you those days and those memories have this gift that they can kind of keep giving you where you can still receive a tiny bit of that joy that you felt in that memory you know in that moment um you know, you can still kind of feel that by reliving those memories. Um, and they can just, that pain and that grief can remind you of something that you're grateful for. Um, so even from the get go, I, I personally was receiving like a lot of reward for, um, you know, just trying to process my grief in song form, I guess. So I'm going to reference this book probably a lot in the future. So I'm sorry if you get sick of it, but it's there's this book called The War of Art. And in it, the author talks about this concept of the resistance, which is this force, whether it's like external or internal, uh, it's this force that sort of works against you, against your dreams and ambitions and uh, your calling, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, it basically tries to sabotage you. So. Uh, I feel like during those two years, I was basically in a constant battle with the resistance uh, and it was, you know, finding new ways to to prevent me from from looking inwardly, I guess. Um, and then in June of 2019, my mom passed away and, you know, that kind of like forces everything back up, obviously. Uh, so again, I knew like there's some new things I need to process and, you know, find some closure on and all that. And so, you know, after, after some time passed, I 
started back up on the album again and ended up redoing pretty much everything and adding a couple songs. Um, and then in the summer of uh, 2020, I re released the album and there was like an immense sense of pride that came with it and not just like, I mean, I, I'm, I have pride for how it turned out, I'm very happy with how it turned out, but just the pride for having finally finished something that had been on my mind for four years straight. Um, it, it, <laughs> it felt nice, you know, it was a good sense of accomplishment. So that is the story of Faye. Uh, I want to talk about a couple more things before I wrap up. But um, first is um, I just want to kind of shout out and introduce the organizations that um, Faye benefits. So all the proceeds are going to three organizations. Um, there is Alive Inside. They're a really cool organization. Their focus is just in general on elder care and respecting our elders, learning from them and making sure that they are well taken care of. Um, and more specifically, they they kind of dive a lot into music and memory and kind of how the two interact, uh, which is perfect for this, obviously. Um, so they're a great organization. Uh, the Alzheimer's Foundation of America is another wonderful one. Um, they tend to focus a lot on um, on caregiver resources, which is a very important aspect. Uh, and then the third foundation is the Cure Alzheimer's Fund. Um, they are a consistently high-rated uh, nonprofit organization, and I believe it's 100% of the donations that they receive go directly towards researching Alzheimer's disease and hopefully one day finding a cure. So um, check them out, and if you feel so inclined, show them some support. And then lastly, I just want to to leave you with this message, and I hope it's the message that the album Faye really encapsulates and um, pushes out into the world. And that is, I want, I want you to know that if you are, you know, grieving the loss of somebody uh, or in a place of pain or mourning, uh, I want to remind you of where that pain comes from. Uh, and that comes from all the joy and the love that you experienced, the love that you felt for that person and the love that they felt towards you. That's the source. And I just want, I just want to remind you that feeling that grief is okay, it's good, um, you should, but also let it be a reminder to you of something that you're grateful for. So that's the message that I want Faye to give. Um, so thank you for listening to me ramble. We'll, we'll end this one. Um, if you feel inclined, please follow and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, thank you again and talk to you soon.